Okay, so we've been talking about perfectionism and people pleaser, but I figured it's good. It's time for us to go straight to the emotional piece. So in this one, in this video, let's talk about how to feel emotion and giving yourself permission. What does that look like for you? So my name is Lisa Blunt. Please click like and share and subscribe to this channel. I couldn't even get it all together. Like and subscribe to this channel. Share it with a couple of your girlfriends. And today, let's talk about, we've been talking about our emotions and our mindset and how those emotions can um, get in the way of, that's for lack of better words, because emotions don't really get in the way. So that's really what I want to talk about today. When it comes to emotions, I feel like we we have a culture where it is more so, um, it's kind of like, don't really feel your emotions. Like we're evolving, we're getting to a place, and if you're watching this channel, you've probably seen a few videos uh, where people are talking about their emotions and being vulnerable and expressing themselves. But as a culture and as a society, we've been especially... Um, I want to say especially black women like we've been conditioned in a sense but also just kind of I mean because it, it's cultural it's not just black women but especially black women it's like if we show a little bit of emotion now you're an angry black woman but we never go to the root of it we never go to the to, to the, never go to the fact that you've been dealing with this thing over and over and over and over again and you have every right to be angry in that moment we don't really talk about that. But we also don't talk about how the fact that anything, very often when we say something, when we speak, it comes off as angry or it's perceived as angry when it's just, listen, I'm just telling you what it is. I'm 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 not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just telling you it's how it is. So sometimes we, we get that, right? We don't even get the benefit of being able to express our emotions or being able to feel what we want to feel. But... Let's talk about feelings in general and feeling emotions and why is such a taboo thing. Like, I think in order to really get to, uh, let me share this. In order for you to get to what may be stopping you in terms of, we talked about procrastination and people pleasing and perfectionism. There are things that real life hurt you in the in that arena that cause those things to happen that create more anxiety that create more stress that create more depression and very often it comes from suppressing emotions it comes from not allowing yourself to feel your emotions or not knowing what exactly that emotion is so I'm questioning you I'm challenging you to feel let me see how do I word it to I'm going to I'm going to challenge you to question it question your emotion if you if this is something that interests you and this is something that you really want to change now if you're okay with just covering up your feelings and you're okay with I'm not trying to go too deep and you pushing things away and you're numbing yourselves like often let me say this too before I go to what we should do um, in terms of feeling emotions very often we'll engage in numbing activity so maybe you don't even know that you're not feeling your emotions or you're walking around and you're not really quite sure why you're having this level of anxiety or why you feel like you just can't participate or you don't want to partake in something outside of just not wanting to because that's okay too. But you're engaging in numbing activities, right? So a numbing activity might be binge watching Netflix, right? That's okay. If every once in a while you're going to binge, a, I, I mean, I save up my insecure. Come on now. I was saving them up. And that's not on Netflix, it's on HBO, but I'm saying. I was saving up my season because I don't want to have to wait till the next. I ain't want to wait to see what Lawrence and them was doing. I didn't want to wait. So I'm going to, when I know I'm going to have my moment, this is my binge watching moment. This is my moment that I'm about to be doing absolutely nothing. And my moment comes, and I know it's coming because everybody needs a moment. I'm, I'm going to use that time to numb out and watch and binge watch a show. Now, numbing activities can also be using using drugs. It can be drinking. It can be drinking that uh, 
a little a, a, a glass of wine to take the edge off. Is that what people say, right? To take the edge off at the end of the day. But if you take the edge off every single day, more than once a day, and you're using that just to numb so you don't have to feel what happened that day, that's when it becomes an issue. If you're just using um, binge watching uh, series after series after series, series after series after series, you're binge watching it like that, and you just kind of trying to avoid every single thing that comes up, that's when you may have an issue. So it's not necessarily that numbing activities are always bad because sometimes you, sorry about that, sometimes you just need to, a minute, right? You need to take a break, and that's my break. <laughs> um, but if it's, if it's, if it becomes so habitual that it's a way for you to always escape and never deal with what the, 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 the thing that's at hand, then you want to look at that. The other thing is staying busy. When we don't want to feel our emotions, we have a tendency to try to stay busy. Um, oh, we involved in so many things. I got, I got to take sister Doris, mom Doris. I got to take her over to, uh, do her grocery shopping. I got to, um, I got to be on this board over here. I got to take the kids over here and then I got to make sure I prepare, uh, groceries for, for four weeks. And then I got to take this one over here and I got to run this one over here. But I also, I got to write this essay cause I'm trying to do my, my blogging and I'm trying to start these videos and I'm trying to do these things over here. And I, I told uh, Shakita, I was going to come help her to uh, lay her carpet down. She got a brother who does carpet and tile, but I, I told her I was going to come and help her. So we get busy and we start doing things and we start taking on tasks and taking on challenges. And those are ways that we escape from feeling our emotions. So let me say this. If you are at a point where you say, you know what, I I had enough, I've had enough of this. And I, I really want to, I don't want to escape my emotions, but I'm really just not sure because it's a it's been a taboo topic. Like if you feel some emotion, I mean, growing up for me, I don't know. I guess it depends on what age you are. Cause if you a generation under me, you probably really didn't play outside. But when I played outside, you was not allowed to be out there crying. You could not be outside crying. You couldn't be feeling your emotions and talking about I feel that you you could not do it. And as a result, we learn to smother our feelings. We learn to put them out. We learn to stuff them down and we learn to shove them. Unless you grew up in a house where your parents were like, you know, tell me how you're feeling. And, or either you saw a professional early on and they helped you to be able to express that. Because I did have some really great teachers and counselors in high school who taught us about our feelings and, uh, and helped us to kind of put me on the path. But even with that, it's not without lots of work so going back so allow yourself to feel what you feel feel the emotion if you're ready feel yeah feel the emotion i'm if i'm angry if you angry you angry you have a and it, it, feeling the emotion without judgment right because it's okay whatever emotion you have you are well within your right to feel what you feel nobody can tell you how to feel you have every right to feel how you feel. So feel your emotion. Sit with it. <sighs> Breathe with it. Learn the art of breathing. I'm going to teach you a breathing technique at the end of this too. And I want to say question your emotion. Question it. Don't judge it. Just question it. Don't don't say, oh, I'm a bad person because I feel this way or I'm I'm a good person because I don't feel that way. Don't judge it in that way. Listen, I feel like, hell, I feel like I could have just pushed her because I was so angry. It doesn't make you a bad person because you had a feeling about something. But what is it that would make you feel that way? Examine what that feeling is and what it's coming from and what the root of that thing is. Or I'm really sad when I don't get to talk to my family and I feel like sometimes I'm reaching out to them and they're not reaching back out to me. So and sometimes what people will do is they'll withdraw further when you really wanted to press in. So identify that. Notice that. 
and see. It doesn't make you a bad person. So don't judge it. Don't put any judgment on it. Don't say I'm good for this or I'm bad for this. Identify what that emotion is. If I'm sad, I'm sad. If I'm hurt, I'm hurt. If I'm angry, I'm angry. But what is the emotion you're feeling? And don't judge that emotion at all. Just notice that you feel it. Man, I really feel it. Yo, I, I, I'm not even really mad. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really hurt by the fact that I wanted to spend time with the person and they just, they played me. They ain't even want to spend time with me. So I'm, I'm really hurt. And here's the last thing I'm going to say. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to... To to, 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 to 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 have a good time. Give yourself permission to experience joy. Give yourself permission to to be, to not have to be caught up in 